Welcome back. We are playing Victoria 3 as the Japanese, and this is episode 3 of our Japan run, our new and improved Japan run. Uh, last episode was a bit of a bridge episode. We got closer to enacting private schools, and we are about to finish the technology for railways. Um, before we go into that, I think it's important to remind you guys that you should probably check your PMs and make sure you're all using all the secular ones if you're trying to empower the intelligentsia. Okay. So why are railroads why are railroads so good? Um, one of the things that we're doing currently, if we look at our market, we are trying to keep the price of fertilizer high. The reason being, if we go into production methods and we check out the rural, and we see where we're using it, we could switch off. We actually wouldn't make money here. Let's see. I think on some of these, if we switch it off, we make more money. Now, it's about the same. But they're not really making more money, but they are making a lot more grain. Sometimes switching it off makes it make even more money. If we could use just a little bit more fertilizer, I think we will. Yeah, so notice, switching here would actually make them lose money because it makes fertilizer too expensive, but it increases the amount of grain. We want to do this and make them less profitable. The reason why is these are owned by the landowners, and when we make them less profitable, we take away some of their power, which is what we want to do, because this entire run, we are trying to disempower the shogunate. Okay, so why are railways so good? If we look down here on the production methods, we can switch to rail transportation on a lot of these, and rail and transportation will be expensive. This will allow us to drive down the profits of all of these, which are owned further by the landowners. And so this is a pretty big deal, in addition to, you know, just increasing your infrastructure, the standard use for railroads. So, this is a big reason why passing railroads kind of early is a little bit good, although it's not as important as the lathe and atmospheric engine are, and to some extent canneries. After this, now we kind of bridge out and, like, we have a few choices, I think. Um, I'm tempted to go either empiricism for the max education investment or pharmaceuticals into quinine to help our colonizing efforts. Another decent choice would be central archives so we could better pay for, because um, it locks standard filing system, so we could better pay for uh, the variety of things we are enacting among them public schools. Now one thing that we don't like about our government not very legitimate. Uh, very slow ticks. Um, but that is our sacrifice, to have both of these guys in to really try and pass private schools quickly. This is the unholy alliance that will allow us to go against a lot of the laws the Shogun at once. Uh, specifically, serfdom's the main one. We want to use these two, and we have to have them both in government to really have a good chance of uh, going after serfdom, which we will probably do after we pass private schools. Private schools, also very notably, um, where is it? will enable uh, private school-based education, which adds to intelligentsia strength. Normally, I think uh, public schools are just better, but in this specific situation, I think it is better to have private schools because we really want to crank up the uh, intelligentsia in terms of the power. Okay. We have our queue nice and going, but we don't want to work on the government admins just yet, because we don't need them just yet. Actually, we do want to work on one of them. In a little second. But we got to take another look at what goods are expensive. Ah, now there's a shortage of fertilizer. We don't want to have a shortage. And a shortage of sugar. The shortage of sugar is particularly bad, because we can't really, we don't have a way of solving that. We just have to build fewer food, and food industries now. We don't have a good way of solving that. Uh, when we build our farms, we want to build them all overseas. So we're going to build them in Japanese Buenos Aires. Uh, who I don't think has market access yet. Ooh, actually, we don't... We can build a rice farm somewhere else. Hold up. Alright, here, we do have... Do we have the port yet? Where did we have it? Okay, here. Or here? We are looking for the overseas territory where we put down... Okay. We have rice farms, but they're not employed yet. I guess we will just wait, but they will be outputting. Ah, uh, they're not making it because they have a shortage of fertilizer. So we are we gotta increase the 
fertilizer use. But just a little bit. So we're going to switch Chubu off to simple farming. Which I think will keep the fertilizer expensive, but end the shortage. Yes. That is indeed what it did. Okay. Opium we cannot decrease the price of. We can't really decrease the price of sugar as well. Um, silk, I don't think we have. We make silk. We can, but not overseas. So we are in a bit of a rough spot, considering that will be very profitable as well. Um, yeah, not a fan of that. But one thing we can make, and can make quite effectively, is tools. So we will just do that. Uh, notably, they updated uh, the little tooltip, so it now tells you how much infrastructure you have available, which is new. So we're going to stick that at the front of the queue. And then I think we are going to need more steel mills. We are working on one right now. Not sure exactly the consumption, but we'll always need logging eventually, so... I'll add a little bit of logging. And right now I'm trying to keep these government admins pretty low. Don't want to complete them before we need it. Because uh, it'll just be another expense. And the railroads were kind of be coming in just in time. We're running out of infrastructure in a lot of these places. You know, plus 14, plus 20. We got a lot here. Man, I really wish there was a place we could build sugar. Uh, just straight up sugar. We desperately need it. We can't get it here. Or down here. Oh, this is gonna be some ugly border gore. Why you gotta do it just to us, Chile? Oh, I guess because we cut you off, sure. Might have to clean up that border later. And know where our country is on the map. Um, Radicals, loyalists. Notably, Samurai, we, part of this approval is coming from something we did early on where we fired most of the army and then now we're paying them a lot, which helps the approval rating. It also helps the Samurai who are existent to have a high standard of living because we're paying them so much. So this goes a long way for creating this long, lagging effect of high approval. Excellent. Rail transportation is everywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add railways. Gonna add one in the capital, and then one right here. And then we will change tech and have a couple of thoughts. I don't think we want to go nitroglycerin because we want to keep the price of fertilizer high, so we, I don't think we want to go this route where we're building fertilizer plants. Mechanized workshops would be reasonable, um, but I think before we're going to go for society tech. Is that not spreading to us? It is. So we will go for pharmaceuticals instead. Pharmaceuticals into quinine to help speed up our colonization efforts. And maybe we can get a place where we can get sugar. And we will also kick a motor industry to the top because we will need that to finish in order for the railways to even operate. And other than that, things are looking good. Very slow as molasses passing on the private school. If I open it up here, this is 51% chance, 33 events, 15% stall. The percent stall is from the political movement. You will get stall chance from political movements or opposition in government. So for example, when we try and pass serfdom revoked, if we still have the shogunate in the government, which we probably will have to, um, they will oppose it, but we won't have the samurai in the government, so it'll just be, the stall chance will just be the cloud from the shogunate, which will be, I believe, less than, uh, if we take a look, the combined of the industrialists and the intelligentsia by that time. Hopefully we can get these up there in time. We have been bolstering both of them and been trying to build so that they get more powerful.
can crank up the speed a little bit, take a look at what's expensive in our market. I think it's just going to tell us clothes again. Unfortunately, clothes are going to demand silk fabric and dyes. So we kind of want to avoid that. The railways will use coal. So I guess we can just up that a little bit. Seems fine. I suppose we could do this because we want the motor industry to finish a little bit slower because we will not need it until we already have a railway. So that's a little better. You get a native uprising. So now, before we had switched over our PMs, or our capacity to do the PM, we will switch over to line infantry, which will wind up our one uh, production in that area, and then we will mobilize these and switch them to defensive fronts. It looks like we got a lot of fronts. I guess we'll advance this little front, and hopefully they don't send their guys there. Now, we had this uh, weird thing against the Mapuche, who we now have a, uh, what's it called? A truce with where they somehow had 62 defense, so we will see if that is the case again. Another thing is we need to turn back on all of our ports. Um, we, we have enough... Okay, we have these four should be providing enough cargo ships to uh, do this. So we'll switch this guy to defending the front, and we'll switch this guy to advancing the front. There's no one there. And let's take a look at. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this 63 defense nonsense. That is such a high score. That's trench infantry. So we just have to not advance on those fronts. Or I guess against one we can just advance, but. If they had a way bigger army, we couldn't. That's what happened with the Mapuche. We just encountered straight difficulties, yo. And small arms come back down. The reason why is there was virtually no employment in our arms industry, and now there's max employment. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll wind down the small arms uh, production. 2K is not too much to pay for military buildings, or even just 1.8K. Oh, this is perfect. So we are trying to get power away from the Shogunate and towards the Intelligentsia, so this is a really good event. Uh, even though this gives us more enactment chance, our enactment chance is already pretty high, so we'll go with this one. Okay, now we have unused construction, so we gotta pause and take a look at our market and try and figure things out. See, I'm just kind of shaking my head, although I'm not, obviously, because I don't want to build the silk, I don't want to build the wine. Hmm. And I don't have to. kick the government, oh, I was going to kick them to the bottom. Okay, so the railways are going to be coming through, so now we need to, if we take a look here, we are suddenly paying subsidies. The subsidies are for the railway. If we can make the transportation expensive, which we can, uh, then we won't need to worry about that. So, we are going to go in here, and we're going to switch these over. So we take a look, we switch it to rail transportation, that makes them more profitable. It increases the price of transportation, which makes the railways more profitable, which means we don't have to subsidize them as much. We'll make more food this way. There we go. And this is a little bit of a band-aid on the situation. Although now, our silk is less profitable because we have railways, maybe I can just build one. I don't want to build it, but I think I kind of have to. Or, well, it'll be productive for me, too. 
And as the second railway finishes, I will try to uh, make sure. Yeah, barely have advantages when it's seven to one. Unreal. But it looks like we are gonna be able to take them out and take all of this southern area. All right. So we're gonna go into rural. We're going to die. And yep, we can, notably, what it affects is it makes less, it fires laborers, right, who are primarily peasants and samurai. Uh, and it makes them less, this building less profitable. And decreases our, yeah, we're not paying any for subsidies. Okay. Looks like we're doing okay. The absolute hellscape of a million fronts. Who is this at the southern tip? Oh, is that who we're fighting? Okay. So then we're gonna switch mainly to colonizing this one, which does not have enough people. It's a little difficult. Are running into more problems. More money, more problems. I do think expanding the glass industry would be fairly good, because we're not currently using the latest PMs on our urban centers, where they're not all using market squares, which we can use to make services cheaper, and is something we can do that's productive, that doesn't involve empowering uh, the landowners. have colonization going here, but my understanding is, is that since we have a truce, our colony will not expand until the truce is up. Because we white pieced out because they had 60-something defense for whatever reason. Um, yeah. And this little piece of border gore is pretty annoying, but what can you do? Okay, they will quickly capitulate. This government admin to the bottom. Work on the glass works. We are working on lead. We probably need to work on more lead as we finish these glass works. Um, then we will check prices again, as always. We want the railways to be expensive, which is perfect because they are. Uh, China's getting up there. So we will. Chikoku. I don't think we want to tank the tank the hit in approval rating because if I recall correctly, if we look in laws. Abolishing serfdom is a minus twenty to them. And that will put us just below radicalizing at minus nine, which is one of the reasons why this little trick with paying them extra is so important, I think. to avoid the radicalization. Let's see how much we're paying for government goods. Goods. We're paying 1k to have them with these just basic guns. I wonder what our power projection is there. Probably still pretty low. 60. Damn. Not high at all. Kick this to the bottom. Almost certainly. Well, actually... So most of the time for this event, I choose not to piss off the industrialists, but they're so happy with us that we could just take the minus one and it's like meaningless effectively. Ooh, the, the steady decline of the 
Buddhist monks much the benefit of the industrialists, the unholy alliance themselves. This next tick, we've had several ticks of pretty high chance, so you know we're kind of struggling to pass uh, pass reforms. I suppose we will put down more logging camps because we want to build something. Actually, we'll need some more of this. Definitely a, quite a bit of tension here because, well, we really just need the sugar, like really badly, but I like to have one of these kind of in each place. In case you lose market access, you still have some local textile production. After that, I like to try and benefit from economies of scale. I believe we have uh, manufacturing throughput bonus it's pretty big in here. Can we take a look? Throughput plus 20% from encouraged manufacturing industry. Uh, and if we look at a little bigger one, we will have like throughput bonus from also economies of scale. So I like to build a little bit tall. We'll up this as well. So iron is cheap. If we bring down iron, that will save us money because most of our government expenses is actually goes into iron, where that is our biggest expense in terms of uh, construction goods. So I guess we will add some iron to the queue while we are trying to be productive. We will kick the government admin back down to the bottom. And we've gotten private schools, so now we want the government back up, admin back at the top because we want to up the level of private schools immediately, which we need 321 bureaucracy. So we're going to take a look and we're going to look at the insufficient market capacity and we're going to build up in Kansai and Chubu. Maybe we should have been building more paper mills. So one more in Kansai. One more in Chubu, and then I think we can do one more territory. Kanto, one more. And then we will build another paper place wherever we already have some paper production that is not the capital. Perfect. And these will complete. More of these admins will also empower the intelligentsia because they are the ones who run them. Uh, it'll make the group, give the interest group more money, and we want to go right into laws. And I think it's time. We're going to take a quick look at if we think we can pass. So we might be able to pass agrarianism. This might be okay. Can't go for taxation. Mercantilism wouldn't be too, too great. I actually want to stay isolationism for steamy reasons. We could go for landed voting if we thought that. Uh, let's take a look at our government. If we reform the government and we take the shogunate out, we would be at 29% if we switch, um, which I think is still not good enough. So I think it's time. Let's take another quick look. We have 31 total clout versus the shogunate's 27. Yeah, I think it's time. We start trying to get rid of serfdom. Notably, will not uh, will radicalize the samurai now. Hmm. I don't want to radicalize the samurai. Oh, I was thinking I was gonna get to dodge it. We're already paying the max. Can we do any other useful thing? This would be quite useful. We make this shogunate mad. It would power the intelligentsia quite a bit. Hmm. 
I'm going to pause and have a little think, and I will be back to you in a moment. Okay, I think it's close. I think we just go for it, and we eat the fact that um, we're getting radicalization. Uh, and if we get a bad event, we just take the less bad instance, and then we switch to this. Um, with the idea that we could go appointed bureaucrats into landed voting, and that would be pretty good. We could also go landed voting immediately. But if we go landed voting, the samurai will be mad at us for a little while, so that will make... It was just so perfect when it was minus 9 and not minus 10. Let's actually take a look at uh, why the samurai are upset at this current juncture, and maybe we can figure something else out. Okay, they oppose no home affairs. Unfortunately, we cannot pass any of this. I mean, migration controls, we could just... We're actually going to do migration controls, we're going to sit on this for a little bit, and we might not even wait for the full tick, and we'll try and keep an eye on the approval rating of our samurai. And what we'll do is we'll go to the outliner, and we'll star the interest groups. And so I think that'll make it easier to access, and if they ever get to loyal plus 10, we'll swap things out. Now, unfortunately for you guys, I think you can't see the outliner very well for that, because I think I'm blocking it. Uh, at the very top of the outliner is the shogunate. Uh, you can see the industrialist, the samurai, okay. You can't see the intelligentsia, but you can, or the shogunate. But you can see the rest, okay. And this way we also give some time for the intelligentsia to get up in power because there's going to be a lagging effect after passing um, the latest reform. Okay. Well, we will do this. Especially because the industrialists are so pleased with us anyways. And if we get the intelligentsia just a little bit happier, we will get their second uh, tier thing. Which gives migration attacks, which I suppose is kind of useless. Okay. We're starting to tick up in bureaucracy. And there we go. Oh, nope, that's not what we wanted. Oh, we can't get the education reform the next level. We could go for colonial affairs. I know tech unlocks the next level. It's empiricism. So we're just set up for when empiricism unlocks, because it is auto spreading to us. Okay, and migration controls, we're already a third of the way through it. The samurai are at loyal 11, so we will wait for one tick of migration controls and then quit, I think. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I'm gonna make another engine industry here, because we will need it at some point. And look to see if anything is expensive in our market that is not a good is made for a landowner-oriented building. Now, croissants are expensive a little bit, but they will use substitute goods, so they will use meat and fish instead if they want. How profitable is our whaling? A little bit. I think we will up this a little bit because having that small little bit of oil is nice later for jump-starting uh, different PMs. Yeah, why are you loyal now at 
plus 11. Ah, it's the amount of loyalists versus radicals. Hmm. I wish we were making more money so we could reduce wages. We can try and increase standard of living. So we'll build another textile mill and we'll put it at the top. And maybe that will help us maintain. See, they're back at plus 10. We have to get the standard of living up a little bit. And clothes and liquor are the thing. Clothes, liquor, wood. Okay. I saw tobacco on there too. Can we build tobacco overseas? We can, but they're having trouble getting employment in clubs. Anyways. So. Yeah, they're not able to employ because they need migration. Um, hmm. I suppose we'll kick this to the top. And we have so many clothiers coming off, or tailors rather. But I think that might push this to stay in the loyal or loyal enough, just loyal enough, to not become radicalized by the, uh, the law. Uh, let's see how much we are paying. We're not paying at all for subsidies. As soon as we start, ooh, this is not fully employed, so we'll actually not expand that. Um... You know what? I should have expanded. I forgot you could do public transportation with the railways. So let's take a look. Will you tell me who is hurting on infrastructure? You are hurting a little bit, Kanto, so we'll just proactively expand here and here. And then once those complete, we'll turn on public transportation PM for the. Uh, Urban Center, which will cause a decrease in labor or employment, but that's okay. Coming up close on our tick of enacting migration controls, and we are trying to stabilize the samurai's loyalty, because once they start radicalizing, then their loyalty is gone. <sighs> because we saw like three of it comes from having loyalists. Yeah, so it's just fluctuating, and so if we can pull up a little bit um, the standard of living, but that's kind of hard because normally how you go about it by, just by like making food and stuff cheap. I guess our food's not expensive yet, but and it's mainly clothes. So we will take the negative event. And it's mainly clothes. Do we just expand clothes a bunch? I think we do. And we're gonna build our first agriculture of the game. In Chubu, we're gonna build one cotton plantation. And we're going to step off of this law, and we're going to switch as long as we're at plus 11 on the samurai, and we're not. As soon as we hit it. Alright, we're hit it. We're going for it. YOLO. This is pain. No more radicals, we made clothes. No more radicals, we made clothes. No more radicals, we made clothes. Yeah, 
they are the ones who strongly uh, support serfdom even more than uh, land owners do, which is a little bit weird. Um, we're also going to build one silk plantation. Yep, unhappy minus nine. We can take that. Please don't radicalize. Radicalization, please. We're producing so many clothes. You have to be happy about all these clothes. Don't you just want to go shopping for clothes? clothes, or we'll make furniture, actually. Go on, stay at minus nine. So brilliant. This, uh, this business saves us some radicals. I think you either want to completely avoid the radicals or just, like, fully on provoke a, re a revolution. The Unholy Alliance. Really high stall chance because, uh, the political movement <laughs> by the, the samurai and also the shogunate themselves who are still in the government. But, uh, well, we finished the railways, so we will be, we'll, we're losing money to subsidies, but we will go to the urban center and we will turn on public trains. Okay. We will just turn off our small arms output, and then we will just... Stop consuming them. You take the time off, you guys. And you are still at plus, you are still at minus nine. That's because the noble privileges, they're unhappy. We will have to raise taxes or shut down construction to continue this don't get it on the first tick. Getting it on the first tick would be fantastic. If we get a really bad event, we will switch to something else, I think. Still at minus nine. Holding and non-radicalizing. Well, let's see what's expensive in our market. Sugar, can't do anything about that. Silk, don't want to do anything about that. Dyes don't want to do anything about that. Clothes still. Well. Now, if you take a look, the throughput is quite high. It's 26 from encouraged manufacturing and from economies of scale. We unlock empiricism, so now we can finally switch. And this will give 20% intelligentsia strength. We will need to build a little bit more bureaucracy. Looks like can't say needs it the most. This is, uh, I mean, it's a lot of just tension and waiting. Well, colonization completed in an area. I think we still have this place. 
think we oh, we have to re-establish it in Mapuche. Good to know. We are getting to an awkward spot where we don't want to increase taxes because we don't want to decrease their standard of living. We might choose to run a deficit for a little bit. I wish I could look exactly what a specific interest group was here. We're going to take a look at our pops in a kind of substantive way. Okay, so laborers. Mostly middling. You're starving where? They're politically inactive, though. So laborers are mostly middle class. Aristocrats are middle high. Servicemen are poor, but we're paying you extra. Okay, and officers are quite high, so maybe we should not be looking at the low, but we should be looking at the middling. What are you consuming? Clothes. It's all back to, it all comes back to clothes, but notably a lot of services, so we were right to, uh, oh, but we don't make services cheaper can. Let's consume 150 more glass. I don't have a frame of reference for how much I have in our market. Do we have, so we have more sell orders than buy orders, but not by, well, we could absorb that and then build more glass. Yeah, let's do that. This way, we will be making a lot more services, which will make services cheap, which are something that are being consumed. And then we will find places that are producing glass that is prioritizing glass production, and we will crank a couple up to the top. Of the queue. And that should help increase standard of living for the samurai. Once that finish, well, it's already finishing, so. Then once we start getting into the negative, I might switch our taxes up even more. Oh, we can afford one more consumption tax now. Or uh, I guess on glass. Or we could take away a consumption tax and Look to make an interest group weaker. We want to eventually do that to the Shogun end. If we get, uh, hoping for a really good tick. We're approaching it. Uh, the tension. It's one thing, I, I have mixed feelings about this system because there's a lot of unpredictability, but like, I think that that's kind of like politics, right? price. We will need to add some more goods. We'll add iron mines, because that makes our biggest government expense is iron, so. And then also paper. So that'll make us more money. <laughs> We're going to pull off of this for a little bit and do a different one, which was always the plan. We're going to let this update and take a look at, all right, Samurai are back to being loyal, but they're extra loyal, I guess. Oh, because they're de-radicalizing quite a bit. I think that's partly on the back of our efforts to improve the standard of living. Alright, when we were doing that, it doesn't radicalize uh, the shogunate. So now we have a choice between landed voting. Hmm, but that will make the samurai mad.
20 bureaucrats would be really good. Could just go for migration controls again. This allows uh, non discriminated pops, which is almost all of our pops, to migrate. This one's better though, but we have much worse. Well, well, we'll try it. We'll take a tick of this and then we'll reevaluate. Now we're running a surplus because we're taking in a lot more tax off of all the agriculture. That's why we started losing a bunch of money in the first place. We'll just demand for hardwood now. I guess we'll expand hardwood a little bit. Chubu. Sulfur is probably pretty expensive. as well. And let's take a look at the market. Some goods we want expensive and some goods we can't do anything about. And clothes, which have remained expensive. another case of we're gonna wait for one tick of this maybe get lucky and then uh, switch back I think the samurai are plus 12 now so they're quite a bit more loyal we have a lot of loyalists from Recent uh, decreases in the clothes price. Let's look at diplomacy in a sec for a sec. Okay, gonna pause for a second. We want to. I think we don't have very many engines active already, but we're gonna kick an engine up to the max level here. Oh, it's already at full employment, so we're gonna kick that up. And we want the industrialists to gain power, so we'll do that. And we are also going to be running a bureaucratic deficit, which is pretty bad to run. Because this tax waste goes nowhere. Uh, it uh, does not go to your pops. So like when you don't tax pops, it, it goes to your pops, because they get to keep their money. But that just it disappears into nothingness. Um, Oh, we just unlocked tech. Shoot. Ah, yes. But my feeling was we need more machines to activate those PMs. So that's why we're increasing our engine output first. Should have been a little bit more on top of that, but that was also the result of tech spread. Not uh, our intentional tech. Building up a bit of a bank because we are going to be losing money when we are trying to revoke serfdom. Dialectics is also decent there, if I recall correctly. It allows us to advance. Uh, education investment, which currently is doing a good job in powering the intelligentsia. Although the industrialists pass them up in terms of government clout. If we get a really nice tick of this, like plus 20% chance, we will just enact it, or we'll keep going with it. Uh, 
Let's just let them celebrate. I don't think we're gonna explode in terms of our standard of living anytime soon. Which I think is needs to be the case for you to take the other event. But a decent amount of loyalists. What is this? Alright, it's almost time to switch over the pianos to using the engines. Oh, this just uses tools. I thought it used engines. Sewing machines also just uses tools. It does make dyes more expensive, so we will have to put some dyes up there in the queue. Silly me, I thought it used tools, not machines. Okay. We hate to build them because they do help the landowners out a little bit, but it is so we can make a ton more money for our non-landowners, so I think overall it's worth it. There's way more clothes. That should make everyone very happy. Now it actually will shoot up. Maybe I should have considered a little bit more carefully on that event. Dyes are really expensive. The unfortunate thing is when dyes are expensive, the places that do have it like also become more profitable, so they become more rich, so it's almost hard to avoid making them more powerful. We will crank a railway up to the top here. About to pop our event, and depending on how how it goes. Compromise is a tool for the week, and we are now going to abandon it for a hot minute. So we will take another crack at abolishing serfdom. <laughs> Noticeably, we're getting better every time. Radicalizes the peasants. <laughs> That's funny. The peasants support it, but they're so mad at us that they're still radicalizing, and it's informing us this will radicalize the peasants. That's kind of a bug. Only minus eight on the samurai, hell yeah. Oh, and not even in the minus five for the malice for the shogunate. Excellent. So this will be pretty comfortable. We might just stick with this for a while. Yeah, samurai group's pretty unhappy, but... And now we don't have the movement, so now the stall chance is going to be a lot smaller. Because last time we had a small ch stall chance of like 40%, because it included the Samurai's Clout, because they had a movement against it. This time they don't have a movement, so that's nice. So it looks like we are going to... Maybe, maybe stick this one through to the end. I guess we'll make a steel mill. Don't want to make a chemical plant yet. Let's see, what are our middle class consuming? Clothes. Okay, grain, clothes, tea, don't want to touch tea. We can make porcelain cheaper though. I think you're on porcelain, yeah. So why don't we expand you? I think you're on porcelain, yeah. So why don't we expand you? <sighs> Uses dyes though. Rough, rough, rough. I think we are gonna need to expand dyes again. Don't wanna do it. They are using the railroad, so they're gonna be less productive. Speaking of, are we paying that no, we're not subsidizing the rails? Anytime we start subsidizing the rails, we will activate PMs. Well, maybe we can activate PMs now, too, in the Urban Center. I don't even think we want them in the Urban Center. Yeah, we know 
we don't because it just fires laborers and makes it more productive. We want it. We want it to use it to make uh, these guys less productive. Since cotton plantation, for example, makes less money. find some place a couple places and switch to rail transportation now that we got more rails so we can avoid paying more money logging camps you're always going to need them eventually Lot of infrastructure here. What else can we build here? Textile mills aren't very profitable. Guess we might have overbuilt those a bit. Or we switch to PM. We will grow into it. Standard of living is steadily rising, which is good for keeping the samurai just unhappy enough to not radicalize, although now they are uh, more unhappy. So, might have to uh, do some stuff. Porcelain, we're going to make porcelain cheaper, which will, they are consuming porcelain. Once they radicalize, then it's, I don't know, gloves off a little bit. I think once this passes, the Shogunate gets way weaker and most of our worries are behind us. Can we decrease this? I mean, we can. How long can we eat that? Well, we can eat it a while. And okay, now's the time. That will hopefully prevent him from getting to minus 10. And we'll like really shoot this up. Kind of right when we're pissing people off, we're gonna make them happy. It's the real tech. The Shogun is not even, they're neutral to us, they're not even pissed. Although they're gonna start getting pissed. We might try and, we'll probably go back to the closed borders to get like a bit of a wipe on the, the like malice that has a five year cooldown when you pass a law they don't like. And then we'll, well, we also might just want to go right for the throat here. Traditionalism is really the thing we want to get rid of. And anything else is better, like, uh, agrarianism is a significant step up. But we don't want to put the peasants or trade unions in government. <coughs> or trade unions would be fine, but they're too marginalized. They're too small right now. And they're not going to be big anytime soon. Oh, this episode's probably going on, yeah, quite a long time. I really do want to get rid of serfdom, though. Irons come down. of the things we want to build. Tools and hardwood. They have zero tools. And then hardwood. I'm going to switch Kansai over to hardwood, even if it's not profitable. Is barely profitable. What event did I get? It's just progress or just didn't do anything? Nothing burger. Okay. I guess it's just still build mode for us. 
porcelain we can deal with. Structure and there will be gold rushes there, so Sakhalin also will not have a lot of infrastructure. Yeah. It's kind of delaying the need to build railroads. We're not subsidizing at all. has been slowly growing the alliance and slowly diminishing on the uh, shogunate, which is what we want. Oh, uh, now they're making preserve serfdom. No. So now it's much more likely to stall. <sighs> We're doing everything to try and make them happy. Look at this. Look at this. <sighs> trying so hard to make the Big sad. I think we'll need another steel manufacturer. Well, let's see how profitable you are. Yeah, you're making tons. In fact, we'll put you at the top. What's the infrastructure look like here? <sighs> Taxation capacity is real bad. China, China's market, we might say yes to this. Another tributary. Should we take a look at this? We can make fish. Fabric is getting expensive. I will make another fabric thing and feel sad about it. Kansai probably has a lot of upper class pop. A lot of unemployment here. Build a mine, I guess, and then. The Wing Workshop is very profitable. So is the logging camps. Ah, you were supposed to be the chosen one, Samurai. And you had to create this... this opposition. And like, plus 50% of the stall chance. I mean, we will have taken a 30% chance twice, you know, so that's roughly, I think that's a 51% chance to pass once, I'm, once we're done with it. 
after which we will officially call Never Lucky and ignore uh, all the times we've like uh, first offed. to hit the tick. Moment of truth. Let me go over all of our PMs and just double check stuff. Ooh, uh, it doesn't pass. It just uh, stalls. <sighs> no progress. Alright. We do want public trans eventually. Fertilizer have a shortage, so we can't do that. I think we can switch this now. Well, we'll switch it if we're paying a subsidy. We're not. We're not that vindictive. Oh man, my kingdom for is passing. I'm just like, I'm so focused on this that like thinking about the rest of the game is like just difficult. We'll just make more fisheries. Uh, we do need to make a railway there, I guess. And then we will turn on the rails for all the other concerns. Ooh, uh, we like them losing political strength, but I think they're at minus, they're at minus five right now, so... Making them neutral is actually a pretty big deal. Yeah, that gives us a lot of income. Okay. So we're gonna mainly focus on getting coal and iron. Bourgeoisie has changed. Abolitionist would be nice. They post serfdom. I think they have post serfdom already, though, don't they? Alright. What is expensive that you are consuming, my dear middle rung pops? Where the group that must not be named? Besides so porcelain and tea. Let's see if we can make tea plantations overseas anywhere. Okay, we can make them down there. But the problem is, is they're having trouble reaching any type of employment. It looks like they've got full employment in one place, so I guess we'll make one tea plantation. Having trouble employed here, though. About to get another tick. The Unholy Alliance is starting to gain a lot of strength as well. I guess they're stalling out right here, but in general. Just waiting with bated breath. I think we will need to expand uh, your plus seven infrastructure. Put it a 
steel thing in here. Instead of this, I'll put the tooling workshop in here. Yeah, there we go. And we got a stall, so we are going to quit. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to call it for this episode. We... I think this episode we did pass, we did get a good job passing the private schools if I recall correctly, I think this was this episode, but we had trouble going after surf abolishing serfdom, you know, just a lot of stalling out because we had this large opposition block, and the samurai create a, even though they're not in government, they keep creating a uh, special group to specifically oppose us. If th their approval was way higher, they wouldn't do this, and so... It's a little bit unfortunate. I think what we're gonna... <sighs> so we could go after... We, we have two choices here. We could go after appointed bureaucrats, which at this point, the... Ooh, the samurai I don't think supported that before. Why are you supporting it now? Did your... What changed, my guy? You're Republican. So you don't like hereditary bureaucrats. So we can actually make him happy by passing, this is interesting, we can make them happy if we pass, well first of all, can we put them in government, no, we can't put them in government, we could do this, it'll create some loyalists, but this isn't a ton, alright, we're gonna do this reform, and then we are going to go after this, because this gives, empowers the Shogunate, and this empowers the Intelligentsia. And it is supported by the Samurai, because the Samurai are now Republican. So after we get this through, um, they won't radicalize or oppose us on the getting rid of serfdom. And the Shogunate will be super mad, but whatever. So this is the play now and relatively low stall chance, and no one's going to come in and add to the stall chance. So this is what we'll be doing next episode, trying to change the bureaucrats, because we got a Republican in the Samurai who will, help, who will be able to help us in kind of an area we care about. Anyways, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, you know, the YouTube, usual YouTube algorithm stuff, and have a good day. Maybe stretch, stretch the legs if you've been sitting a while.